Greetings engineer, this is Brian here from Great B Gaming and this is Material Energy Natural Capital Episode 6. Yes, finally, so let's look at our objective book and see what we're going to be doing today. First up, it's over 9,000. I'm not going to do the big voice, yelling voice. I love it, but I don't have the voice to do that. And then, Winds of Change. Yes, change is coming. So, let's first look at what have I done in between episodes. Well, I have done too much. And this is why we're going to be changing a couple of things. So, let's go through all of the stuff that I've been doing. First of all, I have acquired power armor. So it doesn't do much right now. All it does is give me a little bit of armor that you can see on the bottom right right now. And it is completely invisible. So I've set it to invisible so I don't have the big power armor look. I can look the same way I do right now, but we're not gonna need it right now because it is really not doing much. So I'm just gonna go over here. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna keep it on me for now. Yeah, we'll keep it on. Second, our room over here, it has changed a little. So, uh, last episode we started off with a sorting system and I have expanded just a tiny bit on that. So let's look at it. I have right now two sorting systems that are from Practical Logistics. There's this one and there's this one. In this one here, you can see I have all of this stuff right now. It's ores, it's ingots, it's a lot. My, my precious stuff, my most precious possessions are in here. In this one, you can see 11.8K out of 255.7K. I have the rest. So this is a lot of stuff that I have in here that I can pick, take out, and use. Okay, so how does this thing, all of this work? Well. Let's go to our quarry and let's go pick up some stuff. Teleport to the quarry. You can see here, I've installed a couple of solar panels that I bought with coins. We'll be looking at our coin situation pretty soon. Uh, oh, let's take this here and let's make a little bit more of these blocks. Perfect. Put them in here and we'll put the rest. Uh, where is it? here perfect and we'll put the rest in here great so as you can see the quarry right now it is pretty low pretty low oh certus quartz pretty nice um okay i'm gonna jump down because if you dig certus quartz with a pick i might get a charge certus quartz is this gonna work yes i have survived perfect Oh, this water here is very dangerous. So if you look at the, over the side here, you're going to notice that there is a lot of stuff that died. A lot of animals have perished inside of this hole right now. There's trails of blood everywhere. So let's go over here. Let's see if these are charged. Dense, dense. Okay, nothing is charged. Ah, that's just... Too bad. Okay, just standard ones. Okay, well, we'll try and get more at a time. Come on, work. So as you can see, my tools have been upgraded. We'll be looking at that in a moment. So what I'll do, I'll just go up here to my quarry and I'll pick up some stuff. Really anything. I just want to pick up a couple of items here. Wow, that is a lot of tin. So let's pick up all of this tin. Perfect, perfect. Go down here. I'll pick up some other blocks because I want some other examples here. And we'll pick all of this up. And we will go back home and put it inside our sorting system. So in between these two here, there is this special chest that has under it an item router. So if I dump all this stuff in here, let's dump it all, I'm gonna keep this. Dump all this stuff. So this item router is going to send all the stuff inside their proper inventory. So stuff that is supposed to go here will go here and everything else will go over here. 
So the way it works is the item router actually has two outputs, one for this inventory and one for this inventory. And inside of it, if I click right here, perfect, I have item filters that says for this one, we want to whitelist for south. South is this one right over here. And I also want to blacklist. Uh, let's go to blacklist. I also want blacklist down. Down is this one over here. So you need to both whitelist and blacklist items. What happens if you do not do that? Well, let's go with nodes. So nodes have not been filtered in here right now. Uh, oh, wait, they have. Ah, shucks. Okay, well, let's say they haven't. So that means if I put nodes in here, there is a chance, if I did not have the whitelist and the blacklist, there would be a chance that it goes inside of this inventory over here instead of going inside of this one because it's just random from what I, I can see. I, I don't can't make any heads or tails of that, so I have no idea why. So it, it is not a great system, but for now, it works. So for every item that I want over here, I need to put a whitelist and a blacklist, and when I put it in, it's gonna do the work for me. If we look down here, let's go look. I have a couple of caches over here. So you can see this is my this side inventory that has all of this stuff in here. And I have just a couple of chests over here. Just a couple for now, you know, that that's the 255K inventory that you can see right now. And I just let the guy, you know, I let him place whatever he wants, wherever he wants, okay? As you can see, all of these are empty. He really goes for the closest one. So the closest one he fills up, goes to the next one, next one, next one, and then just keeps going, okay? So that's how it works right now. Uh, this will be subject to change. I, I do not like this, this whole routing stuff and working stuff. We'll see below. There's something else that I tried to do uh, automated with this, and I, I really don't like it. it. It's missing a lot of stuff. So now I need to decide what I'm going to change all of this with. Um, for now, I'm not going to be touching it. I've spent way too much time on this system. It's going to stay like this for now. But for later, uh, I need to decide between Applied Energistics 2, which is pretty far down the line. You need a lot of stuff to make Applied Energistics 2, or I could go with uh, logistics pipes. Uh, that's That might be the way I go. I do not know a lot about logistics pipes. I do know applied logistics. I do not know logistics pipes, but I just like the look of stuff moving around. If we go to our conveyor belt over here, we'll see that I added a bunch of iron tanks to hold all that creosote oil, which we'll be using in a moment. And, you know, these conveyor belts, they're nice. They're cute. They have a lot of problems, okay? They, they, they have a lot of problems. When this thing fills up, that's it. It's dead. It, there's no way to move stuff. These inserters can't pick up the right item because the queue is stuck, and then it, it is mayhem. I've had it happen a couple of times, and it is just hell to use. So I think if I use piping, it would be a lot better because the item would just keep going and you know end up in a buffer or something like that so i'll probably change this system i'll also optimize it so that it's not random like this right now you just just put it exactly the items that i need so that it keeps going and is just a little bit more efficient so that's when we start making buildings so that's in a couple of episodes we'll be starting making big factory buildings that we'll be putting all this stuff inside of it okay but for now go over here let me show you the basement. Yep, I've died here. I fell from up there and landed here. And something that's interesting when you die, you get something called humanoid flesh. So I have three pieces of my flesh right now that I could eat, which I am not going to do, but probably has some practical uses. Rejuvenated infinite source of food, 10,000 millibuckets. Millibuckets of what? That's a good question. 
And, oh, I can turn my flesh into leather. That's a little bit weird. Okay, well, we'll look at that later. Also, I have built a smeltery. And if we look inside of it, there is a lot of stuff. So inside my quarry, I found a cache of these special ores from metallurgy. And these allow me to improve my tools. And it's the reason I also made a power armor and decided to go inside the nether. So I have a nether portal over here. Whoa, did, did you guys see that? What? Okay, I'm gonna have to relook at the video because I swear I saw something dart over here. Okay, I, 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 okay, I'll be looking back at that video because I am sure something popped out of here. That was scary. Okay, now, now I'm afraid to go in. So, on the other side, we'll be looking at that in a moment, but I need to gear myself up before I do this. So, what would I do? Well, I've created this human hunting spear over here. So, this is the basic spear that you start with that I upgraded. Upgraded with a bunch of minerals that give me Wither 1, Ignite 2, Poison 2, and 14 attack damage, so 7 hearts. Auto repair and durability. So it is a pretty nice weapon. It does not have a lot of range. If I go here, yeah, that's pretty much it. But this is the only rage weapon I could make because they nerfed everything. Look at this, look at this. Sanguinite Broadsword, this is usually very, very good. Only plus eight attack damage. This crossbow, this, this should be a kick-ass crossbow. But look at this. With some very good wither, reinforced ammos, you know, really good stuff. If I go here, yeah, this is as far as my arrow goes. So, plan B, we're going with spears. I don't really need it. Uh, as you'll see, I found something pretty interesting to use, but yeah, oh, I see a mob over here. Let's try it out. Where are you? There you are. 16 damage, pretty good. And of course, I'm going to get experience. And my spear is going to get even stronger. It's going to get random modifiers and stuff like that. And since it has auto repair, you can see it increasing 167. And it should increase pretty soon. No, 168. There we go. I also have another spear that I made with the Pure Cell mod. So I discovered something about the Pure Cell mod. You want to do the Pure Cell mod. I, I kept wondering why the Pure Cell, because it has his name on it. But it is pretty crazy, okay? You get these ores that are called... Dense pure cell matter ore. These transform into neutralized pure cell matter, which you can use in a item value exchange table or pure cell, which is the portable one. You put this stuff in it and then you get these pure cell matter. And this is basically UU matter. Okay, so you can use this to create pretty much uh, anything in the game. Uh, if I go over here, I think this is the one. So yeah, I can use only three of these and get eight emeralds. How crazy is that? So there we go. I'm just gonna get here, stack of emeralds, just for fun. And this is, this is nothing, okay? Each of these ores produces, uh, let's see, 24. I'm gonna get one here. Yeah, four each, which gets transformed into two each. So I get eight of these per ore. And it's just incredible. If you see, you see what you can make with this here. So I can make, of course, this one we're going to look at it later. But I can make cobblestone. I can make ore. I can make ingots. I can make... Uh, th th there's really no limit to the bunch of stuff that you can do. Nether stars... A coal, iron, gold, nether quartz, and blaze rods. So you don't even have to go to the nether. 
diamonds, slime balls, redstone, and glowstone. So the nether, you really do not need to go there. Uh, and you don't need all these special ores that I've built up, you know. It's just it's just crazy what you can do with your pure cell stuff. So let's go inside. Let me show you a little bit what it looks like in the nether. Because it is crazy over there. So I created a little house so I'm safe while I'm inside of it. Because, oh, I was not crazy. I knew you were here. Adulthood. Okay, baby zombie pigmen. Okay. So if we look at over here, I'm going to try and not get killed. Look at this. Look at this place. This is where the Endermen are. This is where really everything is. And it is insane. This is Pyrodium um, something blaze or something like that that burns everything. This is lava. You know, this place is hell. And yeah, you can see on the top here. There are withers everywhere. So this is an extremely dangerous place. So I dug a little bit of these ore over here. I went over here. Dug a bunch of the pyrite and all that kind of stuff that you can see. Why is this burning here? Okay, this is scary. I don't know what's happening, but anyway. Uh, so you can see I have dug over there and got a bunch of these dense ores. And that's how I improved my hammer, my pick, and my spear. Just go back. Yeah, you really scared me, dude. I had no idea what was going on. And we are back. Perfect. So, what are we doing today? Well, first of all, yeah, let me look at, let me show you this spear here. This is a Paracel staff. So, plus 14 damage, and it's really easy to make too. Right-click boost, and sneak right-click for regen. So if I do right-click boost here, first of all, when you use it, you get speed 3. Yeah, that is pretty crazy right now. And it doesn't use any durability, you just have to hold it. If I right-click, I am flying. Okay. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> what happened there. Uh, okay. Well, that was a little bit weird. And if I shift right click, I just get regen. So let me just kill this guy here. There we go. Experience. As you can see, I don't really need experience. I'm level 46 right now. And I made an enchanting table. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, this thing goes so fast. It is nuts. I don't like the FOV change, though. But So I'm just going to use 30 levels just for fun, just to see what I can get on this spear here. Auto-tune 2 and knock back 2. What is auto-tune? I, I have no idea. Does it make music? Is it a musical block? I have no idea, but it's not important. So today we are, we need power. We need a lot of power. So we're going to be improving our windmill up there. So right now this thing is generating, you see it's full here, but it is generating uh, each of these. I have three up there and they're generating about 20 RF per tick. What we want we want a lot more. I want the maximum that this cable can hold because I do not want to set another cable. I can't fly right now and it is a pain to do. So what I want to make, I want to make an improved windmill. What that does, it doubles the output. So for that, I need steel ingot. That's pretty easy. I have a lot of that. And improved windmill blades. So these should give me 40 to 40... 40 to 50 RF each. So I need eight of those. And each of these need eight. And these need four. And to make one, I need eight industrial hemp and a petrified stick. Or a normal stick, anyway. So I need a lot of stuff to make. I need a lot of hemp. And to make the blade, I need treated wood. Okay, so when I went, I used a little bit of my creosote. 
it's really not a lot compared to what I got. And I made creosote wood blocks. Okay. From these, we are going to make creosote sticks. Nope. I'm like that. Oh, treated wood planks. Sorry. From these, we're going to make treated sticks. Um, okay, let me just move some stuff around here. I'm going to put this here, this here. Oh, yeah, this thing is full, of course, so I can't put it here. I'm going to dump this here, this here. While I do this, let me show you a little something down here. Now, I'm not sure why this chute doesn't work. I keep taking damage when I get down here. But as you see, I've lowered the whole platform here. Haven't moved all my stuff yet, but I need to do that. And over here, I have an item router that outputs iron inside of this crusher constantly. So the crusher is making a lot of iron. And now that I have all of this, I can start up my firebox. Why did I wait until to get all of this before doing it is because this is pretty slow. This is very fast. If this runs out, you know, if the heat starts going up because it doesn't have anything to process, it will turn into lava. So this and this will turn into lava and it's going to be hell. So I'm going to put four blocks of coal and this should process, you know, most of the stuff that that's in here. It's going to be pretty crazy. And this thing here reinserts it inside of my inventory system. So that's the system that I have right going right now. It is really a pain to set up with practical logistics. Uh, I'm gonna be changing all of that later on, but right now it works. So it's just gonna stay like that. Let's go back up here. And now that we have space, let's use all of this here. Perfect. Now I want uh, fences, fences. I believe this is the way you make them. Why do I have a n normal fence? That That's not... Oh, okay. Ooh, I was afraid there. I was afraid I had messed up. I'm just going to do recipe. There we go. We're going to get 42. I don't even know if that's enough. But we'll see. So let's make a bunch more here. Make these. Yeah, that is, wow, that is far from enough. Very far, that's not even one right now. So let's go over here and grab some more wood. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go inside of my golden bag here. Grab one, two, three, four. Uh, one more, please. Four. Perfect. And we are going to make some more treated wood. Yeah, I am swimming in creosote oil for this very reason. This is what I wanted to do. So that's why I have all this. So take this here and let's go fill her up. So each of these columns that you can see over here they're all 256 buckets so i just do right click hold it and you can see it's not going down it's the middle one that's really going down and 64 perfect thank you very much and we'll do this again Uh, no, this is not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. There. 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 Perfect. So we'll go with that and just make one for now. Nope, that's not what I want to do. This. No, no, you're not going to get me. Die. How did I miss? I mean, come on. That was a clean shot. pretty much the only fights I've been having inside of this whole mod pack right now is killing these slimes okay let's go back over here 
and I'm going to need industrial hemp. So I've grown my industrial hemp to 10 10 10 okay, so that it goes faster. And I have over here, let me grab some of these here, Need some food. Thank you. So I have over here a little 9x9, nine nine, oh, 3x3, three three, sorry, of hemp. So I can just right click here. There we go. With just this little patch, I got 36. That is very, very nice. So four each. But I am going to need a lot of those. So if we calculate here, improved blade, I need four per blade. Okay. Each of these need eight. So eight times four times click here, eight more for just one, and I want four, uh, wait, I want, how many do I want? Well, for that, we'll do only three, but uh, I, I'll want enough to get 320 RF per tick, which means I'll need eight, so that it goes down to about 1,400 industrial hemp. Thankfully, if we look over here, I have now 2,000 400 industrial hemp. So we'll be using that. Let's make a couple right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Whoops. Yeah, I, I got to change that order because it sucks because when it does that. Okay, perfect. So what we'll do is we're going to make, we need standard sticks for that. I'm going to go here, make some sticks. Uh, this is going to give me eight. Uh, I'm going to put 16 more. Come on, give me a stack. Thank you. It's going to give me two stacks of sticks. Perfect. We're going to put this one here. And then, yeah, that's one thing I don't like about the exalted crafting. I don't have access to all my stuff that is under it right now. So I need to do this to move it up. There we go. Because I don't have the little bar to move this stuff down. So here, here. That is going to be Pretty useful. 64 tough fabric. Perfect. So what I'll need to do is put more like this. Put in a standard windmill blade. And then I'll have the improved one. But for that, I need more blades. So let's start making more of these blades. While I do this, let's talk about winds of change. So wind of change had two purposes. First of all, we're making windmills. So we're gonna be doing winds of change. Second of all, I'll be changing the format of these videos. So what I've been doing currently is doing, you know, increasingly longer videos. These videos have been going on for way, way, way too long. Uh, I think the last one was over an hour long just because there is so much stuff to do. Uh, you know, this just needs to be done differently. And also, I've been spending a lot of time off camera doing a lot of the work that you can see. So what happens then is I'm spending uh, hours doing stuff that you guys probably find interesting, you know, figuring out how all this stuff works. So what I'll be doing uh, for the next episodes, well, not this one because I'm explaining a lot of stuff and I've done way too much stuff outside of the episode. There's probably stuff that I haven't even explained that I missed, but anyway. Uh, one of the things I'll be doing is making shorter episodes. So they're gonna be about a half hour long, except for this one, like I said. But uh, let me remember here how I do this one. Okay, perfect. Six. Wow, that's it. We're gonna need a lot more creosote oil, but that's okay. We can have a lot of creosote oil. 
Okay, I'm just going to go get more. So, the episodes will be shorter, about a half hour, and I'll be showing more stuff. So, I'm going to be doing a lot less off-camera stuff. The off-camera stuff I'll be doing will be improving on an already built system. So, for an example, we're not going to be doing eight wheel mills on camera. That, that would take way too long, it would be pretty bad, you know, it would be very boring after the first one or two. So what we'll be doing is I'll be doing the first two and doing the rest off camera. So you can at least see how it works and then just skip all the boring repetition stuff that just keeps going on, you know. Let me do this. This. For some reason it doesn't put inside the inventory when you shift click. You need to move stuff out and then it's going to put it in, so... I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it sucks. There we go. I have all of these done now. So again, I need to move these up. I'm just going to take all this stuff and bring it down so that I can move all of this stuff up here. Okay, I need to move this one here and this one. Oh yeah, this is something I also made, a redstone flux capacitor. Because if you're making power armor, eventually your power armor is going to need power to use like jetpacks and stuff like that. So what I did is instead of creating capacitors inside the power armor, I have an external redstone flux capacitor, which is 4 million RF, which is why when I'm wearing power armor, you can see 420k RF right there. So I won't have to spend a lot of resources building up this power armor power. I can just use a redstone flux capacitor to hold all the power that I need. So it's going to be pretty useful. So, uh, so like I said, shorter episodes, uh, more to the point. This recipe here. Come on, you can do it. Perfect. Uh, what did I need again to make these? Oh, yeah, right. Perfect. So I'll take these 19. This should be enough to make two. Make it like this. Boom. And now I need steel. I have a lot of steel right over here. Let's take the steel. Put it in the middle. And now I have improved windmill blades. How nice is that? So now what I need, I have the blade, I need the engine, I need the dynamo that I'll be turning to make this stuff. So if we look inside of our engineer's manual, let's see how we make uh, power generation. So I need a kinetic dynamo. You can't look at this, Th this is not good. <laughs> the, the recipes have changed, so the book is not really good. So I need to make a dynamo. Kinetic Dynamo. Kinetic Generator. Okay. This is the one that I need. So, oh, recipes is the same. Okay, I thought it changed. Iron ingot. Copper wire coil. Oh, yeah. LV wire coil, which each of these is a stick and a bunch of copper coils. So, thankfully, I was prepared. I've made five, a bunch of Copper coils and a bunch of iron plates for other stuff that we'll be using later. So let's go here. Do I have everything? Yes, I do. So we'll go here. Make this. Uh, wow. Okay, that is a lot of coil. Let's make a stack. Oh, wow. Okay, that made a lot more than a stack. Okay, well, it's okay. And then we'll just go here. Now, I, I need one, two, three. I have three over there, so I'll make five. I'll keep all this wiring because I'll need it for more stuff because I need to set up wires over there. And we will make... Okay, I need redstone. So I can use this uh, red... What is it called? Energetic redstone dust. But I could also make redstone from pure cell, so... Oh, again? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Perfect. 
Perfect. I have five kinetic dynamos. So what I also need is wiring. I have wire coils. I also need LV wire connectors. So what do I need? Hardened clay and LV wire coil. So that is just clay or sandstone in a coke oven. So right now I don't want to do the sandstone part because that would take way too long. So I'm just going to go here. Uh, I'm going to grab a whole stack here. Make this 16. Perfect. Put it inside the iron furnace. Because the iron furnace is more efficient than a standard furnace. I do not think it is faster though. I think it's pretty much the same speed. But I need... Uh, I need about six, I believe. We'll see. Let's start with just a couple here. And I'll do the rest off camera. So all I need is this. This. And LV wire connectors. So let's go up and hook this up here. I'm going to be going up. Up, 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 and away. So here... I have my standard windmills, and I can remove, let's say I remove this here. Perfect, already had connectors, so that's gonna help. So I want the dynamo uh, facing, I think it's like this. Uh, no, I think I can use the hammer to change the facing though. Yes, I can, so per this is, nope, this is not the way I want it. This is also not the way I want it. This is the way I want it. Perfect. So I'll just hook this up here. Hook up my wiring. U to U. And then U to U over here. And then install my super improved windmill blade. Windmill for the... Hey, achievement. Pretty nice. So this thing should start, and look at the speed this thing is turning. This thing is turning very, very fast. So it is generating really uh, double the power that this thing is generating. So I'll be increasing the size of this platform so that I can put really eight of them. I have four right now. I'll put another one, another four over there. And that's going to be 320 RF per tick, which is going to be standard for for now, I'm, I'm not going to be changing. I'm going to be changing all of these to put, you know, these improved to all of these. And I'll get 320 RF per tech, which is going to be our main base power for now. It is not a lot, but it is a good start for what we want to do. Because what we want to do, just go down here. Hmm, this seems fast. No, okay, good. So what we're going to be doing next episode is we're going to be using all of this power to make stuff. So we're gonna be going to the next tier. One last thing I wanna do before I go though, is talk about the quest book. So as you can see, I have a lot of coin. I have 72 copper coins right now. And let's just go do some more. I'm gonna go over here, grab some peat. One, two, two, three, whoops. One, two, go down. Four and turn out some more peat. Oh, capitalism. Peat. Five more. Yeah, that is a lot. So this is all thanks to peat, really. That that's pretty much all I've been doing here uh, with these coins. Wait, we're going to be spending these coins right now. Is I want to unlock something called industrialization. I need seven copper coins. That's pretty easy. I have that. I didn't want to do that off camera because I want to see what... I have no idea what to expect here. So this unlocks quests somewhere else over here. So. Okay. What is all of this? So I can turn in cold coke for a prepaid card. Okay. I can turn in... Seared bricks for a debit card. Or 
Dark Ashes for a credit card. Industrial Amp for three prepaid cards. That's pretty good. I have a bunch of hemp that I'm going to use, but eventually we'll be creating a farm that generates a lot of hemp. So that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be very useful. This is rock wool that gives us nothing. So we're just not going to do it, that's for sure. Oh, but I need to do this to do this to unlock this one, which is two credit cards. Okay, so yeah, silicon, it is coming. It is coming very soon. And these are, okay, manual submit, nope. Yeah, like I said, this is beta, you know, they're starting out, so there's a bunch of stuff that is missing here. They're probably going to be filling out. Filthy circuits? I have no idea how to make this stuff. But we will be looking at that next episode, because next episode, we're going to be starting to use that power and starting to make machines. Yes, finally, no longer just a quarry. We're going to be building machines. And uh, we're going to be building this little block over there, which I do not know if you guys remember what it does, but you will see that next episode. So like I said, we're keeping it short. We're going to be giving you more episodes. Uh, it's not going to be two a week. We're, I'm going to try three, uh, at least three a week, and they're going to be a half hour each, just more content. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you like this video, please press like, subscribe for more content. If you guys have a preference between applied energistics and uh, logistics pipes, please tell me. Uh, I have more experience with applied energistics, but logistics pipes looks a lot of fun. I I'm going to admit, it just looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to go whichever way you guys tell me. So leave a comment down below. And we'll be working on that. 